So we're starting a new let's play. This game is called The Cursed Crusade. Deus Vault and all that. I never finished this game. I don't know why I even bought it. We're on the 360. I bought it maybe... I had to have bought it many years ago. I got... I don't even know when I bought it. I don't remember. I know I never finished it. I know I don't even remember any of it, really. So, yeah, we're in the 360. This is also available on Steam. But, I don't feel like buying it on Steam just to get slightly better visuals. Or maybe it has a lot better visuals, I don't know. I mean, it might have been late in the uh, 360's life cycle, so... Yay, new game. We'll just do it solo. Mission 1, difficulty... Let's do it on the base difficulty. All I know is this game's about the Crusades. I think it's about the Third Crusade. My name is Jean de Bale, one of the Order of the Knights Templar. In this bitter winter of 1198, it has been eight years since I departed from France, leaving behind my land, my castle, and more importantly, my family. I often wonder what possessed me to follow Richard the Lionheart to this place. In those days, he was a charismatic and enthusiastic young king. I suppose, like many others, but I was moved by his conception of the Holy Land and the promise of unconditional redemption. But the Holy Land didn't look much like the young king's vision. And the redemption we were guaranteed always felt just out of reach. However, even if this crusade didn't keep its promises, I did manage to catch a glimpse of what I sought. Liberation. Liberation for me, and my bloodline. Jean, it won't be long before Overrun. Too many have already breached the Crocs' fortifications. I warned them, Martin. This is a mighty fortress, but it's hardly impenetrable. Today the sons of Saladin shall succeed, where their fathers failed for many years. Nevertheless, this fortress is of little importance. Do you have it with you? Why else would I have sought you out amidst this havoc? Here, take it. I know it will find greater purpose in your hands than in mine. I will do my best to lead these soldiers until there are none to lead. You must continue our quest. Leave at once. Martin. You know I cannot leave you behind. Our code forbids it. Moreover, you need to see this through, just as much as I do. United, we cannot fail. Don't be a fool, Jean. It is my duty and mine alone to stay and command the men. As for you, I know you will succeed in our mission. 
You honor your tunic more than any Templar. Take the underpass to the southeast. Saladin's men have not attacked that wall yet. It shouldn't be difficult for one man to escape. Thank you, Martin. I will find salvation for us both, as well as my son. If your son inherited half the qualities of his father, he is beyond any doubt worthy of salvation. Go with God, old friend. Farewell. No, Martin. We shall meet again. In France. As I am not yet redeemed. The flames of hell shall bless my blade! Yeah. Curse Crusade. I don't know. It seemed like a good game back in the day. I don't remember it. Oh, I, do I remember any of it? I remember not finishing it, like I said. I take us now to where our story begins. Thousands of miles away, in the kingdom of France, my family awaits my return. Or should I say, what's left of my family. When I departed for Jerusalem, my brother, cursed be his name, laid false claim to my lands and castle. The only treasure he could not steal was my son, Dens. If he walks proudly, it is because he bears the colors and the cross of the Knights Templar. This tunic is to him all that is left of me. My heirloom, in a way. On this February evening in the year 1199, my quest remains unfinished. As for Dens, his is about to begin. What happened here, gentle sir? Why must God always persecute the weak? That has nothing to do with God, old man. Who are these men? The devil's fiends. That's who? But as fate would have it, there is another hero who would be impossible to forget. His name is Esteban Noviembre, a Spaniard twice my son's age. He's a clever, mostly dependable man, but at the moment, how his destiny will intertwine with my son's is the furthest thing from his mind. He also has a particular gift, both getting into and out of trouble. Ah, Esteban! Tracking you these last three days has finally paid off! How far did you think you'd get carrying our share of the loot? You lawless bastard! You better still have it! Right you are, hombre. I am lawless. And your share weighs uncomfortably in my pockets. I am concerned. Will I be able to carry what's left in your purses? Unfortunately, my son has always been equally as gifted at finding trouble. The village is empty, Lord de Mafra. <laughs> Hardly worth drawing our blade. Excellent, Badwa. And the church? Unspoiled. It's just over that way, my lord.
Well, what do we have here? A Templar? Did you get lost on your way to the Crusade, noble boy? Templars? Ha! Huh. A priest with pretty tunics. I bet he wields that sword no better than a farmer. I turned around there because I wanted to talk a little bit. I thought I could get away for a little bit. But I should have just paused. But yeah, um, that was almost 10 minutes till gameplay, so. Still think Templars are priests and farmers? I'll consider this training for the Crusades. This Templar's blade is mightier than five of yours. Denz is a talented swordsman who has never let fear best him in a fight. Perhaps that stems from the burden he bears. The Templar's curse. It is a terrible topic that in the coming days will shape his future. Denz the Bale. I have come to take you. You again? Will you never leave me in peace? Be gone, Wraith! Damned one, I will have you follow me to hell. Come closer, and we'll see! Phantasmas! Bail Phantasmas! I am nothing as simple as a phantom. You have spilled blood. It is time to atone for your sins. And I have come to collect. You're... You're just a nightmare. It's going to stop. Just like the other times. I will need to find somewhere to come to my senses. Not now. It is not my time yet. If I take lives, I do so for justice. <laughs> To struggle is futile. I am death. I am everywhere. I am always. When I am sent to claim a soul in his name, I take it. None escape. Unfortunately for you, I know where my soul will be out of reach. I told you already. My time hasn't come yet. This is hallowed ground, a threshold you cannot cross. You will not take me this day, O oh death. I told you, I am everywhere. I am always. Time matters not. One day, you won't escape me. I need only one moment to claim your soul. It's not my time. At the very least, I have a safe place to spend the night. It's only a nightmare. Just a nightmare. Oh, what a realistic nightmare. But did I really fall asleep in the church? Yeah, so <laughs> this game's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, a lot of talking, a lot of story, not a lot of gameplay yet. I don't know if it plays well. It plays like any other X Y game, you know. Yeah, and you unlock skills. Let's see here, skills, and you then you get techniques.
You know, X, 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 X. X, X, Y. X, Y, X, Y, B. X, 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 Y, you know, you get... You get a good amount of stuff. Let's try that heavy dagger. What is that? Y, Y, X, Y, X, X, Y, X, X, Y. Oh yeah, you get to each one. See, like, you have a two-handed sword, one-handed... Here. One-handed sword, two... It's what you pick up. Like, if you pick up a, um, axe or something, then you can, um, then you can use the skills. I probably should have went into the other stuff. Oh well, at the beginning it doesn't matter too much, but later game you want to use the different moves like X, Y, X, Y, Y, X, Y and stuff. Don't worry, I'll forget most of them. I do, I always forget combos. Oh well, what are you going to do? Not sure if... Is this company still around? My Not sure if it can get on the Xbox deeds, One. Forced my son from his home into the life of a wanderer. He offered his blade to whomever could provide enough coin for him to eke out a meager living. From feud to skirmish, from brawl to duel, he found himself in the service of Boniface de Montferrat. In the summer of 1199, this lord's soldiers laid siege to the castle of Byron, where an old friend dwelt. Baudouin de Flandre, commander of Boniface's army. Their collusion is a dangerous one, and my son has the misfortune of serving under his command. We tarry beneath the walls of these cowards for 30 days. But no more! Today I want to see Martin Dalgais on his knees! I want his doors raised, his coffers looted, and his men slaughtered! Mercenaries! Time to earn your pay, dogs. On this night, you will either feast until dawn, or the crows and worms will feast on your rotting carcasses. It matters little to me. This is the final hour. My lord, all of our assaults have failed. It's the portcullis. It's, it's too strong, even for the ram. We have to set it ablaze first or damage it somehow. Aye, my lord. They rain arrows on us like a pissing cow. We can't get close enough! Enough of your whimpering. These magnets will shield you from the arrows. Get close enough, then use the saltpeter badge to burn down the portcullis. The battering ram can finish the job, got it? Why do we even risk our arses to destroy a portcullis when we could just use the trebuchets to destroy the walls, huh? Because Boniface de Montferrat, the man funding your miserable lives, wants the castle unscathed. And I intend to offer it to him that way. Now go! You two, get on the first mantlet. You two there, on the second! Spaniard! You're with the bail on the third. The bail? Such a pretty name for a mercenary. Can he even lift a sword? That he can. As for his name, perhaps he fashions himself a hero. But enough talk. Six men on the battering ram. You'll follow from behind the mantlets. Now go! Victory or death! Listen close, Spaniard. We only push between arrow volleys. As soon as we see arrows, stop and pray that nothing penetrates this maggot wood. Got it? Hey. Hero boy, I don't feel like dying any more than you do. Now remember, I have a, th I have a three second delay in audio, so. Well, the men were given orders to, uh, relieve themselves on the mantlets before we used them. <laughs> Cursed Franceses! Do you really win wars with stupid orders like that? You'll be glad for it soon enough. The wet hides protect the wood from flaming arrows. You don't want to end up roasted like a heretic on a stake, do you? Take cover! No, 
Now's our chance. Let's go. <laughs> they think they can kill Esteban Noviembre. A mistake. They pursue. You talk too much, Spaniard. You should save your strength. Let's move, Spaniard. Relax, hombre. Stick with me. No harm will come to you. Oh, is that so? I didn't tell you. I was born under a lucky star. A lucky star? <laughs> I'll believe it when it comes down and wields my sword for me. Take cover! We're still alive. Let's go, hombre. I've heard the flag called you today. You and I, caballero? Just call me Dennis. Well, the thrill of adventure, of course. <laughs> You're no different, are you? Take cover! We're almost there. Don't give up on me now, Spaniard. <laughs> You're like two feet from those guys. Second, hombre. Maybe we can pick off some of these archers. Don't stay out there too long. You'll make an easy target. gameplay is not great but I mean this game probably wasn't made for the 360 it was made for PC but they happened to port it for the 360 Chargers, I don't see any more. Do you see them? I don't. I got the three that were in the front, so... Oh, I still hear them firing. I think it might have glitched out. Nope, there's still one somewhere. thing is I don't see them. I don't know what you want. I don't see the archer that you're telling me to shoot. Oh, they're up there. Well, I'm an idiot, idiot. Let's wait for them to shoot again. Oh god, the aiming is just... 
That'll make them think twice about standing on those ramparts. All right. We can throw the bags from here. Cover me. I think we're clear. Throw them before any more of them come. Why is he crossbows don't have recoil like that? Walking me forward by myself or by itself. Oh yeah, it has like a co-op aspect where you have to like um You're supposed to play this co-op, but obviously I'm not, so he has the AI do everything. It's kinda like a medieval um army of two. cool thing was like you would just keep picking up new weapons like yours would break really easily see a lot of the same moves over and over. I think B's counter maybe? Gans? Can you take care of that one? Which one? Sorry, am I on my screen this game is really dark. I mean not like pitch black but CRTs make true black, so like this, I can barely, like right here, I can't see the ground. It's just black on my screen. Where does it want me to go? Fight them back, man. Hello. Fight for your land. You call your own. Yeah, see, so you have a, a co-op aspect in this game. Is this a good game? No, it's it's really mediocre. Mace. 
mercenaries! Oh, it's been 30 minutes, so... So we are going to end it here. So yeah, this has been the first episode of The Curse Crusade. As you can see, it's a very mediocre game, but um... It was either this, recording this, or another Call of Duty, so. And that Call of Duty would be MW2, or maybe COD 4. Not the remastered, COD 4. Not like any of those would get any views, so. I decided to do this one. Actually, there was another game, but we're going to keep that one secret. Okay, bye.